So we're here today to work on my method, which is a little different than some folks, for getting a horse to do an extended trot. There is a difference between a horse that just trots faster and a horse that reaches out and extends. To extend, they have to drive from behind, elevate in front, and reach. Whereas some horses just go along, like I've got a gelding who can trot pretty fast, but he trots like a machine gun. Bop, 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 bop. It's kind of like riding a woodpecker. It's just, he, he's going fast, but it's a lot, of, a lot of smallish steps, and he never really sinks down behind and reaches in front. And that is a common enough problem with a lot of quarter horses. And if that's what you can get, that's what you get. And he has shown in the ranch riding where you have to extend and has done well because he does reach out and do the best he can. And it's a useful gait. And that's what that class is about. This mare here has the potential to have some style in the extended trot. So I've actually been riding her more almost like a dressage horse. Dressage riders, when they build their extended trot, do not post. And I think that there's a good reason for that. If a horse is really pushing and you're really driving through your seat, it's awful hard to reestablish that again and again and again. So they'll take a relatively deep seat, kind of roll their seat up underneath them, hold their horse lightly in the bridle, and send them forward and build that extended trot. There's another reason, and if you've been watching any of these videos, you'll notice that even when it would make sense to do so, I don't post. Uh, about six or eight years ago, I finally gave in, got a really rotten right knee that I've been dealing with for many years replaced, made a huge difference. Before I had that surgery, I was having trouble with posting the repetitive compression and so on, and I never really got it back. It's the one thing that bothers this knee a bit. So I kind of avoid posting. Sometimes I'll just sort of levitate over them a bit, but a lot of times I'll just sit back and drive them, and it's not 100% pretty, but you know, you just sort of hang and rattle and you make it work. So I'm going to take her around. I'm going to go around on diagonals. And I may make one loop or so at a regular trot to make sure she's got that established and she's not wound up or anything. And then I'll push her to extend along the diagonal. And I like to use a diagonal. My pen is 120 by 240, so it's a pretty good size, but you can stretch that out quite a little bit by using these diagonals. If my math is right, you're covering around 360 feet when you go diagonal if you went from the very corner to the other corner. Now somebody who's better at math <laughs> may correct me on that. So I'm going to come across here. I'm not going to throw her head loose and just say, go faster, go faster. I'm going to roll my seat, balance her, and ask her to trot. And then sink back. And the bonus to that is, when you take your seat off of them and relax, they want to come back down. So I'll take her across this diagonal. The irony of it is, I can gallop this mare and she doesn't get as high as she does doing this. She likes this stuff. And if you are watching carefully, about three quarters of the way through, this mare thought very seriously about breaking. That's not uncommon when you're asking them to stretch out. So I'm going to trot a regular speed this time, 
just to keep her from getting too wired because she can get her motor running. And then I'll extend her on that same line where she wanted to break and see if maybe we can keep that a little bit cleaner. So I'll get her pointed at the other corner. Don't rush it, just make let it happen. Now I'm not saying that you want to be in that posture or even driving that fast, say in a ranch riding class. There you might want to create more of that western look. More like that. But by putting that true extension on her, you're going to be able to build that longer, looser trot that you do with your western horse and have some style to it. The other thing that this does is it gives you the opportunity to really build a nice trot on your horse for going across country, develop some forward motion, and just gives your horse a little more versatility. So I'm sure that if any dressage riders were watching this, they may have felt vaguely sick, but that's my way of incorporating some basic dressage type principles in what I'm doing to drive the horse without just throwing them away and having all that forward motion just flow out through their nose. She's a little bit contained but not restrained so that she starts to pick her shoulders up and drop her hips down and gets real free in the front end. If that helps you, great. I'd love to hear from some of you to see how it went when you tried to take your horse across the diagonal in that fashion. Till then, be well, ride well, do well.